What's the difference between Corda 1.0 and 2.0? Um, I guess to explain that, we first have to go back to what Corda 1.0 is. So um, we open sourced Corda at the end of November in 2016, and all our effort from that point until Corda 1.0, which was um, in September of this year, 2017, was getting Corda to, to a point that we call API stability, stability of the application programming interfaces. And that was a really important step for the, um, for the Corda team and for the Corda community because it told developers, those people who were building on top of Corda, that they could do so with confidence from that point onwards, safe in the knowledge that the core design of Corda and the, de and the, de the definition of the, of the interfaces of the core platform wouldn't change. And, and that's really important from a business perspective because it means if you're a partner or an application vendor or someone in the startup community building on Corda, you know that as Corda continues to evolve, continues to improve, as new features go in, you won't have to write, rewrite your application. It will continue to work as, as Corda progresses. So that stability of the API um, is really important. Um, but of course, when we shipped Corda 1.0, the work wasn't done. We still have a lot more features to add, and there are a lot more things we need to do to allow Corda to solve ever bigger and, um, and more difficult scenarios. Once we'd um, shipped Corda 1.0, um, we added another feature very soon afterwards that didn't quite make the cut for, um, for 1.0, and that feature was to support something called observer nodes. Um, and again, that sounds quite technical, but it's really important for the use cases that we and our members are solving. And in particular, it means people who are not parties to transactions, people who are not buying and selling from each other, but who nevertheless need to know about a transaction, they can now be sent one and it will be recorded in their Corda vault so they can query on it and, and report on it in the future. So this enables lots of use cases for regulators and trade repositories and people like that. So why 2.0 for what's actually quite a small addition? And it's because of how we want to give clarity to the people who are building on Corda. We want them to know what has changed and what has stayed the same. Um, so the rule we're following, and it's why Corda will very quickly go from Corda 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and so forth, is as follows. If we add a new API, if we add some new feature that is an additional thing that developers can take advantage of, then we increase the version. So because we'd added a new feature, the observer nodes, um, it went from Corda 1.0 to Corda 2.0.